About two years ago, I came up with a math problem that to this day, we still don't have a proven answer for, although we have a pretty good guess for what that answer must be. I call this the League of Legends problem. So suppose that we are selecting a group of players that we are going to try to make a League of Legends match out of, and these players all have an ELO score that determines their skill level. So the ELO score can be an integer, and it's going to be between 1 and 100 inclusive. Now, when we're getting a game of League of Legends, we want to have two balanced teams. And we'll say that teams are balanced if each team contains five players. And when you add up the individual ELO scores of each of those players, the two teams have the same sum or combined ELO. Now, note, one player can only be on one team. You can't have the same player being on both teams. The question becomes, how many players do we need to have in our overall set of players at a minimum in order to guarantee that we will always be able to find two balanced teams? Clearly, just having 10 players total is not enough because what if all of them have the ELO score of one and then one of them has the ELO score of two? There's no way to divide these two, these 10 players into two teams that have an even sum. But we can also see that if we were to have 901 players, we would be guaranteed to be able to find two balanced teams because if there are 901 players, there must be some ELO score between 1 and 100 inclusive that has 10 people that all have that same ELO score by the pigeonhole principle. So just take whatever ELO that is that has 10 people of the same score and just divide those into two teams. However, this bound of 901 is not optimal. With a little bit more work in the pigeonhole principle, you can figure out that if you have at least 101 players, you're always guaranteed to come up with two teams of players. And a user on Math Overflow was able to figure out that if you have at least 35 players, you'll always be able to come up with two balanced teams. However, this is not still the optimal bound. In fact, I conjecture that if you have 17 players of ELO scores that are between 1 and 100, no matter what their ELO scores are, you will always be able to find two balanced teams of five. However, nobody's been able to show or prove this so far.